The second room of the exhibition explores Wood's embroilment in this avant-garde circle, the, the kind of beautiful people of Paris um, that he came to know. And it's a real mark of Wood's um, influence in this circle that he became to be one of those artists considered to design for Dagolev's ballet. And so this work, um, a, an immense screen dating from 1925, um, shows these different ideas that were sort of bubbling around in, in particularly two ballets that Diaghilev staged in 1924. Um, one was the, the Blue Train, and that was produced by Cocteau. The, the theme of this ballet was le sport, or um, leisure time. And so we see in these, these, these sort of six-part panels, um, these influences coming through from the Blue Train costumes and sets. In particular, Chanel, uh, Coco Chanel designed the, the costumes in this, this ballet. Um, and you see the same costumes rep replicated here. Um, we see uh, bathing costumes with kind of short shorts and these little trunks, just as would have been seen in the ballet. The other ballet that Wood was deriving his influences from was Le Mailto, um, which meant the sailors, the, the male sailors. And you see that in the centre of this screen with these, these wonderful kind of uh, athletic bodies of this, these male um, sailors dragging in a, a ship onto the beach. Although it has influences from Paris, he actually made it in London uh, when he was staying uh, with his, his companion, um, Tony Ganderias. And actually many English painters came to see the screen, including Augustus John, who commented on it you know, positively. Um, and so what we see him doing really is, is using the work as a showcase for his talents um, and also to promote himself amongst English buyers. It eventually was bought by a wealthy collector, the Earl Latham, and ended up being shown in vogue. So it had a kind of fashionable um, appeal and association which came directly from Diaghilev.